So recently an interesting opportunity presented itself. For a while now I have been aware of people using PRP or stem cells derived from your blood to enhance parts of their body for a facial, for hair restoration, or in some cases, to revitalize and strengthen one's penis. So when the opportunity presented itself for me to try a PRP treatment on my friend downstairs, I said, heck, why not? So I took a day trip up to Manhattan to visit with Injector Chris at Lushful Aesthetics to explore a PRP treatment. So uh, let's meet him and see how it goes. So hey guys, today I am here with Dr. Bustamante. Is that right? Yes. Okay. You probably know him online as Injector Chris. And I am so thrilled today to be here with him and talking about ways that we as men can have better erections, better sexual experiences, because if you watch this YouTube channel, you know that is a big part of my own journey in life is a celebration of our bodies and enjoying what we've been given uh, and how we can enjoy even more. So, yeah, even more. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing shockwave therapy and the P-Shot. Um, so Kaylin is uh, visiting us. Um, so today we're kind of doing more of a, what, there's a traveler um, package. Um, it's a P-Shot with a complimentary shockwave session. Shockwave therapy works by helping to cause micro injuries to the penis. It originated in orthopedics, so um, it can use at much higher intensities um, for joint pain and such. But in this area, very delicate tissue, right? So we need a very low setting. Um, causes micro injuries, and our body responds to those micro injuries by promoting capillary growth. Why? Because we heal our bodies with blood. Areas that have high vasculature heal faster than areas that don't. That's why bones heal so well, because they have great vasculature. There's this like cartilage, right, that we have in here. Mm -hmm. Very poor vasculature is terrible healing. Mm -hmm. um, so we know that, you know, having more blood flow is imperative for healing. So the shockwave therapy induces that um, capillary proliferation so we get more capillary growth there. That will help to increase erection quality. I always say like it gives you like a harder, firmer erection. Um, and for some people, they really do notice a good stigmatic stimulation in terms of like, um, it's just more sensitive in a good way. So I, people tend to have more spontaneous erections as well. I kind of say for my patients who are in their early 30s, who a, a lot of them is coming to me for this, they don't have ED. It's just for them, they tend to notice that they're not 18 anymore, Yeah. right? So it kind of gives them more of that 18 year old feeling, which who doesn't want that, right? Like totally. back to kind of like being in touch with our bodies and being able to enjoy our bodies. I think it's a lot more of that narrative where it's not changing who you are. Um, I think it's a it's a very natural feeling in terms of just feeling like you are getting more stimulated down there. It's something that isn't foreign to you, that, that concept and that feeling, because you've had it so much more before when you were younger, because we all yeah. are more stimulated when we're younger. Um, so it's just more in that way. It's it's an area of medicine that's considered regenerative medicine. Yeah. Okay. And so the P-Shot um, is taking your own body's um, blood spinning it in a double, centri double spin centrifuge, which helps to isolate all the stem cells and growth factors from your own body, and then injecting that right back into the penis. It gets injected into the cavernosa, the spongy part of the penis that goes with blood, and that really works really nicely in conjunction with the shockwave because we're introducing an area that has now a perceived micro-injury from the shockwave with everything it needs to help facilitate that healing process. Mm -hmm. And so we tend to notice a lot more um, harder and fuller erections, better sensation. Um, some guys say they feel that they look bigger. I think it's just because they have more blood flow there. Sure. I don't like to promote the procedure as a an enlargement procedure. Um, you'll see a lot of that out there. I think be wary about that. Um, but it, it does great results in terms of helping you feel better down there. Um, shockwave therapy is painless. It's imperative that you're doing shockwave therapy anywhere. That you're using a focused shockwave device. Um, there are other shockwave devices that exist, such as like a radial shockwave, um, which is actually more of just a radial pressure device, basically a glorified massage gun. Um, stay clear of those, it's not gonna do anything for you. We want something that has um, that capability of actually transmitting a shockwave through the tissue. Um, and then with P-Shots, I always tell people to look for someone who has a double spin centrifuge. Today we'll be using the M-Site, it's 
the gold standard for um, PRP on the market. Um, I'm taking 120 ml of blood and converting it to 14 ml of PRP. It's a huge sliding scale of concentration. Um, so that's kind of my advice to people out there who are looking for a provider in their area. Who does this is to um, look for someone who has a focus shop device and a double piece. I'm so excited. You know, I think one of the things that I've talked a lot about recently, and to your point of like younger people doing this process, yeah, you know, have EDs, you know, just because we have a good experience in life doesn't mean that we can't also level it up and have it be even better. So maybe you have fine erections, but could they, you know, be more like you were when you were a teenager? And uh, I think a lot of times in life we limit our own joy, our own our feelings of prosperity because we say, well, I'm good enough. Yeah, I'm enough as I am. So to find something that. I'm excited to explore it and see how it goes. Yeah, and that's such a great concept and, and I think good way of thinking too because I do have older patients that come in for this who have more progressed into ED and this is more of like a treatment for them to try to help to get back to some sort of um, functionality. Yeah. Um, but most of my patients are honestly in their early 30s to mid 40s um, and they don't really necessarily have ED if they think it's mild. Um, and they're really just looking more to have that same feeling where they felt their peak, right? We all want to stay in that peak zone of how you feel like when you're having, you know, sex or masturbating, like that's what we want. Yeah. And so after the treatment, how long does it take to really notice results? Usually once patients are get past the soreness, so two to three days later, they already start to feel an improvement. Um, and the improvement continues to continue on for about six weeks. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So let's get started. All right. Awesome. So, how does it feel to you right now? It's good. It's fun. It's like pain free, right? Yeah. 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 How would you describe it if you could? Uh, <laughs> just feels like somebody is rubbing a rubber tip over my penis. <laughs> Fabulous. We love pain free. Now, because this is YouTube, I cannot show the full uncensored video of exactly what he did, but if you want to go to his Twitter feed, at Injector Chris or at Lushful Aesthetics, you can watch the full uncensored content there. Now, before going there, I was doing a lot of reading online about what people get out of this experience. Some people say that they have harder and more frequent erections, that they feel like a teenager again, or they feel 15 years younger. Some people say that they experience size growth coming in like a quarter of an inch thicker, or a quarter of an inch longer. For me, for myself, it's been about a week and a half, almost two weeks, um, from when I did this procedure to when I'm recording this video for you all. And I will say I have noticed more frequent erections. I have felt like overall my erections just feel a little more firm and full and my erections have been fine, but yeah, they do feel a little bit more revitalized. People who have experienced size growth say that they tend to notice it around the four week mark, which I'm not at yet. So I'm kind of curious to see if anything will happen there. And if I notice a substantial change perhaps I'll create another video to remark about that. But what I want to just highlight from this experience is I think it's totally fun to explore modalities that make you feel your best. To say, hey, I want to try something to say I might be having a really good life, but could it be even better? There's a metaphor that I often use with people, which is the metaphor of the grasshoppers in a jar, which if you put grasshoppers in a jar and put a lid on it, they'll hop and hit themselves on the lid and eventually stop bouncing that high so they don't hurt themselves. But once they've learned that, even if you take the lid off the jar, the grasshoppers will not bounce out. Even though that they're perfectly capable, they've trained themselves not to exceed that height. I think this is an important metaphor because I think we all do this to some capacity. We think we're only entitled to so much joy. We're only entitled to so much happiness. We're only entitled to so much success or health or love. When in reality, what we are capable of experiencing is quite boundless. And so I encourage you to not limit yourself by saying this is as good as it's going to get or this is as happy as I'm allowed to be. If you find a modality or a treatment or an experience that will genuinely improve your quality of life, even if it is already really darn good, you should go for it. Give it a try. If you don't like it, you can always go back. But it's something that I've been embracing with myself more and more is to say, I don't necessarily want to settle for good enough. I, I want to have a fantastic life. I want to really relish my experience of living in every capacity in whatever ways I can. So this was a fun experience for me. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity. Thank you, Injector Chris, for being so generous and offering to provide this treatment for me in exchange for a little social media posting about it. And I highly recommend him. He was absolutely fabulous to work with. Wonderful bedside demeanor, or wonderful chair demeanor. We feel so comfortable and relaxed and totally pain-free. And I was really grateful for this experience working with him. So please check out his socials, give him a follow. And if it's something you want to consider and you're in the New York area, be sure to consider checking him out. But I'm Kaylin. This is Ecstatic. Self, thank you so much for your time.